Okay, okay, guys. So, what I'm going to do the first one is the little blue flash damsel. Um, oh, I haven't pinned it. Just pin it. Um, there we go. So, I'll 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 swap this between screens so you'll be able to see the uh, see the see the video. No one. You have to bear with me, boys. There we go. So the first one, this is how you want them to undo it. The first one, the blue flash dams, or some of the lads tied it down at the pub the other day. So catch on the, the thread of the eye. Put on a few wraps. Because I don't know about you guys, but I find that uh, the bead is, is, is very, 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 very wobbly. So I build up a few layers of thread there to stop it from like vibrating and slipping and sliding on the hook. So build up a little, little bump at the front, just enough to stop it wobbling. Give me a little whip finish. Try to be back up and then catch the thread back on again. Now the tail is that the tail. The tail is marabou. Now, as Gab says, your your, your thumb up, up there, hang on, up there, that's one and a half inches. So if you measure it against your marabou, and then just rip it off. I hope this cut off. Somebody else is coming now. It's all good trying to run the meeting and let people in and do the tying at the same time. You're doing great, Derek. Keep going. So, let your fingers. Your finger Finger and thumb, and then just roll, roll your marabou, and then the bit, bit at the end, just cut it off. And you can, you'll find that where you've cut it, just pull, so you don't build up so much bulk. Just pull the, pull the edges, and you get a bit of fluff there. On top of the shank, pinch and loop, and then take that. I, I normally lift, lift it up so it's, it sits on top of the hook shank. Take it all the way down to the, the hook bend, or just a position like halfway between the, the, the point of the hook and the barb of the hook. Lift it, little wrap behind. Little wrap behind, and that should help to stop it from wrapping around your. Something else coming now. They've all you did you were tying. Hey. They've all you did you run the vice. The other so... <laughs> It's hard trying trying to run the run the meeting and control it and do the tying as well. In their mind. Right, yeah. With your tail, I like leaving mine long, but that's not it's not tied that way. So use your finger, finger and thumb, pinch it, and then just rip it off. Don't cut it, just rip it. 
and then you get a, a, a decent sort of shape for the tail. Now I use two two uh, strands of blue flat blue blue crystal flash, two strands of green <coughs> crystal flash. Them all together. Just at the end, and try and offer it to the side of the hook down, and then just take it down. <clears throat> Anybody got any questions as I'm going along? Please ask, and then just trim it. And then you want to say the other side. Now I'm going to turn it round so I can see what I'm doing. Into the loop. And you pull it to the length. And then tie it down on the other side. <clears throat> there you go. And then cut that the same. Does it look all right on that side? Looks good. And you just try to do that. Thank you. Yeah, the body. Somebody else coming in. The body, it's it's this this double sided um oh what do you call it? Uh, uni mailer. Yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah. Blue on one side and copper on the other. Uh, copper on the other side. Cut it to a point. And the, the side you, you you tie down to the hook shine is the Copper, copper side to catch it in and then start winding I, I do it away from yourself yeah so you probably find as you wind it as you go back up it'll it'll it, it'll come apart if that's the case oh I know what I haven't done the rib the rib yeah thank you Gav oh, nice. <laughs> take that off. But it's it's a bit of stage fright. But it's hard trying to do it all that, trying to run it and let people yeah. in and Ah oh, you're doing all right, but you're doing good. <clears throat> you just have to bear with me. Here we are, a bit of wire. <clears throat> What colour wire is it, Darren? Silver wire, uh, add. Okay. Now you can't see it from there, but catch it in on the side of the hook. Yeah, yeah. And then as you wind it down, it should end up at the bottom, the underneath the, the hook shank. Yeah. Is it Tyrrell's wire, Derek? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I saw me Ben Yaz and I go and snap me thread. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a. Can you thread me thread? That's that in there. There we go. Put it back on. Put the two bits of thread together. There you go. Good rescue. Yep. All it. part and parcel of it, son. Yeah. Mm. And then get yeah. If it does split, which is done here, see there, the two come apart. 
take it, take it, take it off. Don't don't chuck the copper one away. You can use that for a different different one. Once again, try it on. Does it make it a lot thinner though, Derek? Yeah. Gives it a, a smoother body as well, lad. Oh, cool. It's a lovely colour. And then just wind this. Don't worry if it's, you don't have to do uh, overlapping turns. Touching turns are good enough because you'll be coming back up in a minute with it. Yeah. Most, most of my tin, most of my tinsel bodies on my on my wets, I do it this way. Yeah, but you get a smoother body as well, then yeah. Yeah, and you don't get no gaps then because uh, mm. then the tinsel goes through. No gaps, nice and neat. I do love a little blue flash damsel. Bought me loads of fish at the red dog. Yeah. Hold it upright. Take a turn over the top, turn in front, turn behind, turn in front, and then you can chop it off. And then you, you hackle. Cut a little, what I call a comb. I don't know if you can see it too well there. Can you, can you see there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that just helps it grip to the hook better. I don't want to, don't want to get on there. There we go. That should be secure. And then wind this. A couple of turns to start with. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? A couple of turns at the start. And then open turns. And then down the hook shank. And then your wire. Straight over the top. As long as you keep tension on ten, tension on it, it'll be fine. And then just wiggle it as you go. Yeah. That little that little wiggle just makes it move through the fibers better, doesn't it? Yeah, it stops it from trapping it down as well, Dad. Yeah, it stops it flattening, I. And then what your fingers. Pull it all back. Just a little lap. Another one. And then hold your thread tight. Wiggle your wire. Or as you take your helicopter, whatever you call it, whatever you call it. So don't cut it off just yet because there's a little tiny bit more to put on. No. Now you don't need a lot of this. It's uh, um, blister, peacock blister. Yeah. And you only want a little tiny bit, just and then just dub it onto your thread. Remember, you you only dub it on the wind it on the one way. What the thing is, pull it all back. Wind over. And then do your finish. Right now, all up. Remove your thread. Nice. That'll do. That'll catch a few fish. So that's the first one. 
Let's check everything to one side. I'm sorry, there for a minute. There we go. And the camera's just gone, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. There we go. What's happened here? Maybe another glass. Where's the camera gone? I can't even find myself now. <laughs> Must be your age. Yeah, I've lost. I've lost. I've lost myself. Let's try swapping pictures. Here you can. No, let's turn my camera off. Turn me back. Hey. Oh. <laughs> right, swap cameras. Let's see. There we go. Same thing. Derek, sorry to interrupt, mate. Can you do me a dozen of those blue flash damsels? <laughs> what, now? Would yeah. You <laughs> do me a dozen, please, mate, in the post, and I'll pay you. All right, Kev. Right, the next one I'm going to do, nice simple one. Black and Peacock Spider. Might be simple, but one of the best. Yeah, mm. exactly fine. Right. I've only put one fish on it. One fish? Two. Right. Is that for What's the hook? Okay? Yeah. What's this, the hook, Derek? This is a, a size 10, a Camazon B, B175. Looks short. It does. It looks like a 60. It's probably like the angle of the camera because the camera's uh, camera's at an angle. It's oh, okay. On the other side of the table. So catch your thread on. Let's give it a few minutes to be ready. Now this hasn't got a rib, but if you want to give it a rib, you can give it give it one. Entirely your own choice. I normally use the uh, I uh, normally use the um, the tail end of the black thread, Derek, the waist end. Yeah, I do that as well. Just bring it through it, yeah. So the, no, normally there, there's no uh, there's no rib on it. No. If you keep it at a 45 degree angle, I think there's a bit of a gap there. If you keep it at a 45 degree angle, the the sled the thread slides down and they butt yeah. up to each other. Now with peacock tail, I don't know if you all know, but there's a weak spot on, on it. So if you grab all to the, the bottom bit where, where it's torn torn off, can you see that top bit? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it, it, it's like a little white tag. If you hold that end, <coughs> run your fingers up with a bit of pressure, it'll snap. So that, that's the weak spot. If you do that to them both, just run it up and it'll snap. You, 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 you're left with two bits like that. So get the two ends that are just snapped up there. Things are loose. Okay. So you, to make it a little bit stronger, you can actually twist the, the fibers. So give a little twist, and then you can wind them. In touching terms, that's the hook chain.
There's this lovely little beetle, beetle shaped body. Hold it upright. Now, one little trick I use I trap that in my finger with my, with my middle finger, take the thread over the top, grab it with my finger and thumb. One in front, one behind, one in front, one behind. And you can take that off. The hackle. This is probably a bit too big, but. Is that a black hen? Yeah. You can tell it's a hen, Gav. The shape. The speed yeah. shape. Yeah, it's got it. They're more rounded, the the hen hackle, whereas the cock hackle is 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 very thin. It, it's more that sort sort of shape. Yeah. Why is that thin at the front? One. Mm -hmm. Get your tackle pliers and stick a little bit finish in there. And I know it's nice and tight then, so if I put a bit of extra pressure on this, it ain't really gonna matter. Now with your with your the, the hackle, if you if you wet your finger and thumb, bend the fibers, yeah, it's just not yeah. bend them. That, you, you can actually run run your the scissors. Down, down the the, hat, the the side of the hackle, and that will be taken as well. So hold it once. Twice. And that, that, it only needs two, but I'm going to give it three. Hold it upright. Turn behind it. Turn in front. Turn behind it. Hold everything back. Let's finish again. Let me go. There we go. So oh, I think that's come off. Yeah, that's come off. Now let's do that again. Second rescue. It was perfect too, and all that got the rain. Yeah, not now again. More mighty things are sent to try us. Derek, that uh, thread's nice and thin. What are you using? Is it cobweb or sheer no, or something? This, this is uh, eight or uni thread. I'll hold it, I'll hold it up for you in a minute. No, that's pretty standard for wet flies. Yeah, thanks. I got you, me. Uh, Steve, Steve Hankins has just sent me some threads over from uh, Canada and uh, USA, sorry. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't tried them yet. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give them a go. They look really nice. What threads are they? They're. Uh, Danville? 70 and, and 120, I think they are. No, they're, right. they're his own threads. All right. So I'm looking forward to giving them a try. Mm -hmm. 
I'll just put a half a chair. Let me all tackle flying again. Let me let me finger the thumb. That's that one. Let's go back again. Mm. Well, let's snap again. Bloody hell, I'm having some problems tonight. Put a float rubber on it. Hey. Eh? Put a float rubber on the end of the aqua players, like like that. Yeah, normally it doesn't it doesn't happen. I think it's oh, hang on, there's a thread, there's a there's a thing in the in, in, there we go. It was a bit of some a stalk or something stuck in the middle ago. Oh, so it didn't close. Didn't close properly. Well, yeah. That was it. Once again, hold it vertically. Put the wrap over the top of it. One in front. One behind. And you can keep pressure, pressure. I'm not going to snap it off. You know, like the smart ass, so. Hold it. Oh, finish. Needle. Keep pressure on it. Bit of cut it, shouldn't I? There you go. Where's your black and peak up spider? Varnish it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody happy with that? Yeah, it's good. Do you ever put um butts on them? Say again, Gav. Do you ever put butts on them, like a red butt yeah, or a little, blue little butt? Red yeah, yeah. Gold, little gold yeah. butt. Um, yeah. The Myla tinsel is good. Is they, they get uh, holographic tinsel. Yeah. And uh, that, that makes a difference as well, whether it's yeah, a I, fish I, I, I tend to find, give it a holographic red arse, yeah. and it, 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 yeah. it, it, you know, it picks up fish, really picks up fish. And the blue. Don't know why, but it does. I do the same with the water and bower as well. Yeah? Yeah. Bit of a red bug. All right. Works works really well. Next little fly is uh, one that Ben probably would have been tying tonight. Little uh, dolphin. He did this one oh, down at the, the pub not so long ago. Oh, you've stepped in, have you? That's what it is. Yes. All right. He couldn't do it tonight. So you know, you all know about the the bee. It, the, the, the hook, the point of the hook goes to the little tiny hole with a big slit at the back. And then you can just adjust it. There we go. So the, the thread on this is purple thread. So push your thread, hold it in place, touch on your thread, couple of turns. See it's still wobbling. When it's when the when the bead stops wobbling, it's it's held it's in place. Yeah, just give it a little dam in it. Yeah, a little dam behind it. Yeah, it stopped wobbling. What hooks this then, Barry? This is a little time I time on between 14s and 18s. Add this one, this yeah. is a little 14 jig hook. <laughs> Probably can't even tell it's a jig hook from there. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> now, we use his orange shoelace for this, but the closest I could get to orange was uh, this stuff here. 
you know, you, you get your, your shoe, you get your shoe shoelace, and you, you cut the plastic bit on, you know, that you thread through your through your pumps. Yeah. Cut that bit off, and you get um, you, you can undo it, and it ends up like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit trendy for me, uh, Derek. <laughs> a bit trendy for you. <laughs> You can also use the um, your what? tangerines coming up. Your tangerines coming in a net bag. Yeah, use that. That's good as well. Yeah, really good. So once again, on top of the whole tension loop, and then hold it upright. Put it to the bend. And it doesn't need much of a tag. I, uh, the way I got a guide it, I rest my scissors against the uh, end of the hook. Yeah. And tuck it. And that gives yeah. me a little tag. It's all little tips, isn't it? Yeah. This is a cracking little fly as well. I bet this is going to be a problem when I try splitting the thread. <laughs> <laughs> well, with those glasses you got on, come on. <laughs> I thought it was a brain surgeon. <laughs> well, I've lost my <laughs> so if, if you twist the thread and, and pull it and then use your needle, wrap it over your finger a few times, Yes. it flattens it out. And then that... that Helps you get the needle in to split it. There you go. Yeah, uh, look at that. Just like a pro. I thought I was going to have problems there. If only the actors can go as good as that. Yeah. <laughs> now you dub in. You dub in. You, you don't need loads of it. But it's uh, CDC and Hens. Uh, the 50 50 mix of. Uh, Hens number 17, purple, violet, and CDC. Huh. Look, you'll see it in a minute. Just slip that in your, in your dubbing loop. You can see I've got an odd feather in there, but then. And then rest it on your finger. Yeah, I've got an odd feather there. Very nice. And then rest it on your finger and spin it. And it's all twist up. And then just wrap it up the body. Good. There we go. Where's your CDC? And then whip finish. Put your needle in it. Job well done. Now you can get a, I haven't got one handy at the minute, but you can get a little uh, Velcro strip Velcro. and just give it give it a brush. Well, that's a cracking little fly. I don't know if you can see the, can you see the color, color of it? Yeah. 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 See the purple, the purple and stuff in there. And that's the EVC, if I blow it. The movement in it is fantastic. It's really buggy. Yeah. Keep it in bite. And one of my all time favorites. Raquel Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> Go showing your age now, Gaz. Yeah, no. <laughs> what a 
Frank Denser for you, Lorraine. <laughs> Charlotte Church. Oh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Max Boyce. There's only three materials for this. One chunk up, well, four counting me up. So that's the thread on the hook. I'll see what I will do. I'll try in I'll try in the hacker to start. Yeah, it's a lot easier. And you get a neat, neat ahead as well. And that spider, I'd have tied, the, tied it in first, Derek. Because it's the stalk, you, you can actually hide, hide it under the, under the, the, the body. But that sucker's not coming out, is it? <laughs> yeah. uh, you want about two strands. What is it, Terry? Stick flyer. No, no, the the floss. Oh, it's just it's just wool, yellow. Okay. Chartreuse wool. Yeah. Or fluorescent yellow wool. Or stick flyer. Once again, hold it up on top of the hook shank. Slide it down. Don't worry if you don't cover all all of the the hook shank. You're not going to see it anyway. There we go. Same thing. Use the end of the hook as your as your guide. And you're going to use four of these. This time, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to use the. The, the ends, as part of the body. Right down to the. Uh, and then wind it back up. And as, as Gab said earlier, that you, you could I could have left the thread on there, the tag of the thread, and use the tag of the thread as a rib. Let's give it a twist again. And then wind it. Touch and turns. Not the hook thing. You get a lovely shape as well. Mm -hmm. Just right. Upright, one behind, one in front, one behind, one in front. You can remove that. Get the old. Uh, Who's squeaking in the background there? <laughs> can somebody squeaking? Whoever's squeaking, can you mute, mute yourself? You sound like a bird or something, doesn't it? Probably an ear in eight. <laughs> I haven't got to use one of them yet. 
No, nor have I. There you go. Pardon? <laughs> What's your fingers? Where's the back of it again? Hold it. Over, over the top, one in the front, over the top. Put your fingers, push it all back, and get finished. Oof. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Derek. Lovely little fly, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Knock it all over the floor. Anybody got any questions so far? Yeah, Derek. What's that hook? It looks a bit soft in the when you're uh, tying with it. You know, I like I go on. Um... 175 size 6 now because they're yeah. a big, thick and meaty hook. This is a, a Camazan B800. Yeah. There's a, there's, a, there's a little bit of bend in them. You, you know, if you put pressure on, there's a little bit of bend in them. Yeah. I'm not sure it holds with a good fish, you know. No. Next one I'm going to do is another favourite of mine, the cruncher. Get all the materials out ready. Now well, there's a good fly I've caught with. The crunch mm. the uh... you put your hook in the right. And there you go. Now this 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 has got two ribs. I can't find the other one here. Either. One is gold tinsel, and one is. Fine gold wire. I just got them all on the floor. Oh, God. Oh. Hello. Uh, I use uh, fine fire orange, uh, eight dot fire orange for this. No, oh, it's a six or it's a bit thick. No mind. Right. You touch your thread on. And your tail. We pull them at 90 degrees, stalk at 90 degrees with a hook shank. They, they, they line up. 
and pulls pulls the stalk away from the, the fibers, not the other way around. You pull them from you pull the fibers away from the stalk, you'll find that they, 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 it, it, they're not aligned anymore. They, it, it, oh, they move, right? Yeah. Okay. You're taking that press off. So you go wire. That goes in first because that's going to be the last thing that you wind. And then you finish off. Is it holographic tinsel, is it, Dan? Yeah, it's a gold, gold holographic ad. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just find it down. Once again, we're using peacock tail for the body. Natural presentation fibers for the body. Once again, ninety degrees, align them. And then just pull the tips. Yeah. So two thirds of the way up. And if you can use use long fibers for this. I said, just put your finger on top and just you can hold it for you, don't it? Yeah. I, I also make my thumb and my finger. Like yeah. That. Still enough. I think I just lost the fiber there. And the threads all wrapped <laughs> around it. Oh dear. That's it. Wrap over, wrap in front, wrap over, wrap in front. Where's that loose fiber? Wrap it in. Buggers, eh? There we go. We can get rid of that now. The bugger when you you, have, you can't see the top, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, we, we went anti clockwise with the um present tail fiber. So go clockwise now in open turns. It off. With your wire in the opposite direction.
me, I don't like it with the holographic. I just I prefer using just the, the wire. 90 degrees, put a bend in it. Helicopter it off. Now we get our feed off now. Well, that's looking good. <laughs> what a weak one. There we are. Yeah, two do that. Yeah, I got the two. <laughs> nah. Come on. Okay. Is that a green wheel, Darko? Yeah, it's a uh, green wheel. Uh, not a green wheel, uh, a badger. Furnace. Furnace. Black, black centre furnace, yeah, black centre. Mm. But the tips, you can see some of the tips on the edges are a little bit black. So it's like a, a cross between a. Uh, uh, a green mouse and a, and a badger. Little, Too posh. Quite a nice little. Uh, only needs a couple of wraps. He looks like a posh arkle as well. Yeah. Like I say, I, I'm not keen on, I, I, I don't like the holographic red, but I tie mine with it without that holographic red. You used just plain gold tinsel then, didn't you? Yeah, I just, I, I just use the gold wire, I don't bother with the tinsel. Oh, okay. Well, the uni oval, is it? Yeah. The crunch has got a lovely shape to it. It pushes water as you as you're pulling it through. Yeah. That's good. But it works. That's the next one. And I got one more. Just going back, Derek, to the pheasant tail. Yeah. When you tie your, the pheasant tail, if you take a clip, a fly clip. Yeah. Hold the pheasant tail up. I don't know if you can see it there. Let me lift that. No, I can't see it there because I, cause I pinned myself centre screen, so it's I'm staying on the screen. Like that, look, right? If you lift it, if you lift the pheasant tail. Yeah. Take your clip. Clip it in the bottom. Rise it up. What up it the way like that? It holds it perfectly then, look. So clip clip it, it clip it clip it there. Clip it there. So when you when you tie the tips in. Yeah. Right? The tips, yeah. Are they standing off the hook? Yeah. Okay. If you put your clip on the bottom where it's fine enough, 
raise the clip up to the top of the pheasant tail. Yeah. And then it it, it, it acts like a, a thread then. If you just wrap it up the hook. Oh, I gotcha. And you haven't got to pass it between your fingers. I don't know if the other boys can see me doing it. What what does she mean? Uh... Just uh, pull, pull, pull them at 90 degrees. Yeah, tie them on. Tie them uh -huh. onto the hook. Right, put a hook in on some thread. Yeah. There's a hook. There's right, put some thread on. Right down to the butt. Okay. Tie off a dozen fibers in by the tips. All right, well, that's it. Pull the tips now square. Pull the tips up like you normally would. Yeah. Right. Take your thread up to the eye. Yeah. Now get your clip, your fly clip. Lift the fibers, catch it in the bottom. Leave it open a little bit, push it up. Now now you can tie the thread the fibers on now. And you got something to hold on to as well. You got something to hold on to. And they go up perfect. And if you've got big rough old fingers like the miners with the X miners have in Mercer, you need something like that. Yeah. Because they can't pass their big sausage fingers through the hook. But look mm -hmm. how easy that is. Easier, isn't it? Isn't it? And like you said, when you twist it, it comes perfect. You like our little tip? Yeah, handy like that. Very good. Yeah, so it, it's it's just when you get shorter materials, you can even do it with a well, if you can't find if you if you can't pass your fingers through the hook, you can put that on, you can use it with peacock girl. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can you and it just helps you. It just gives you something to hold on to. You can actually get the clips with the hoop, a loop on the bottom as well, can't you? So you can yeah. just roll it, roll yeah. it round. Yeah, but if you if you got the fly clip, they got the little hoop. Yeah. Just close it, twist it, and it come and it goes on perfect for you. Just a little tip there, Derek. Andy, that go. Up the one, yeah. Bugger than eight. Uh, right. so with, with a little rib and a tail, this would have been perfect. The thing is, a lot, a lot of flight tying, we complicate it. Yeah, but no through, need to through, through the eyes of a fish, you know, a gold ribbed edge, you rougher the better. Oh, you got the hang of these articles now, son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot easier to tie the bugger in like you just did there, isn't it? 
What so were the clip with the feather do? Talking first. Oh. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. It's miles easier. I think they've trapped a couple of uh, fibers down there. But... No, I won't worry about it. So you'll only catch five rainbows now instead of six. Yeah. <laughs> See, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Andy, tip that, Gav. Yeah, it just makes life a little bit easier. And this one is using uh, red thread, sorry, orange orange thread. I use the fire orange again. There we go. That's not coming into focus properly, is it? Ah, uh, that's okay. It's your, t it's your t shirt, see, it, it pulses, doesn't it? On the belly. Get this out of this is on the size 14. Come a couple of turns up the hook, Shane. Okay, uh, there's a lot more. Doesn't want to play. I love peacock tail. It's got that lovely iridescence to it, isn't it? Mm. Into me. This is just really dark. So that little tiny tag, can you see it at the back there? Yeah. Yeah. Find your peacock tail. Don't go all the way. That's it. One over, one in front, one behind, one in front. And then you hackle. Mm -hmm. Wind up through the body.
Put your fingers, put it all back. Very much like the Griffiths Nash. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a grain and steel blue, but it's very, very I, similar to the Griffiths Nash. I thought it'd be a, it's more like a, it's not a witch. It's a grain and witch. No, no, it's a grain and steel blue, it is. But they're, they're, a few of them are very similar. Yeah, they are. It, well, it's just a palm of dry in it. Yeah. And it's a lovely oh, little dry. Catchy, catchy. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Can you trim them underneath? That little, oh, exactly. yeah. That trim them up underneath three sits. That little uh, tag at the front, at the back, and the tag at the front. Now, when you cut it, Come in with your scissors underneath, turn up yeah. and down. And that will sit lovely in the film, that will. Yeah, yes. perfect. You can, you can put a bit of gink on the, on the top there. This and it's, it's a good clinker ding play as well. Mm. Let me swap cameras. Let me turn things off. There we go. There we go. Jobs again. That, guys, everybody happy yeah. with that? Yeah. Very good. Uh, good, thank you. good session. Pete Wilkins yeah. is coming in. He, right, he, he bloody missed it. Typical <laughs> <laughs> Pete, I bet he's just woke up. Oh dear. Very good, Derek. Thank you very much for doing, mate. Oh, yes. nice. Cheers, Derek. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, yeah. Derek. Well done, Derek. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Really good. It didn't look as if it was in uh, proper focus to me. No, it's fine. Was it? Yeah, yeah because what you do. Checks in the post, by the way. <laughs> All right, Pete. I'll do. <laughs> I'll do a dozen of them for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. oh. If you if you if you send them to me with your details, and I'll sort you out. No, no worries. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Derek. It's really good tonight. Thanks. It's all right. Pete Wilkins, Pete. Hello, buddy. Sorry, I was travelling up the M5. Oh, I oh. thought you was fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you got your blue, you got your little fly tie shirt on, have you? Well, I thought I'd see if you could. <laughs> I got mine on as well. Look, have I missed it? Yeah, <laughs> I just I just finished tying. I've done uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six flies. You better do a seventh then. Do very well. <laughs> <laughs> what are you reckon, Pete? Have I stopped the recording yet? No, no, no I'm still recording. What else can I tell you for you? I normally fall asleep. <laughs> I'm on my phone today because I say I'm not at home. How about an Ali McCoy? Oh, go for it. Let's tidy all this lot up. There's a bit all over the stuff here. I'll do one more and then I'll call it a night. This this fly's caught loads of fish this size. This is your top secret one. Oh, uh, everybody knows this, Pete. So let me swap the cameras again. Uh, yeah, sorry I'm late. No, it's all right. Now, because it's a fire orange bead, and once again, it's, 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 I don't know if you can see it, it's loose up, loose on the hook shank. What I always do, I, I 
put a bit of thread of can't see what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's better. You lost the very picture again. Yeah, hang on. Just press the button. I could do with somebody here doing it for me. I'll oh. press the button anytime, Dale. That's working. I thought you were going to fiddle with his buttons. I got in trouble last time I fiddled with someone's buttons. <laughs> So just put a, a little bit of thread as we did with the other fly. Just underneath it. It just stops it wobbling at all. Yeah, I always do that. You can put a little bit of super glue on it as well. Maybe. No, I don't usually bother with super glue because I usually get enough thread that it's tight to fish in. Yeah. Finish on that. Johnny Proctor, uh, he loves these, the old Dolly McCoist. When he fishes for my dog, if he's not getting anything, he always <coughs> uses that. And... That or an orange blob. Yeah. <laughs> What weight is it, Derek? Pardon? What weight's the tungsten bead? It's... Where's the bead? Oh, I haven't got it on it. I think it's a 3.8 feet. Okay, no problem. Remember how Gab told, told us to measure the marabou? That distance there is one, one, and a, one and a half inches in a gap. Yeah. So measure that up against the thing. Pull it 90 degrees. Pull it off. Put your finger. Put your wee roll. And then I always cut the that tag end where you ripped it, and you can pull the fibers out of the end. Yeah, you just touch down on a little bit of bolt it does. Pin some loose. Hold it upright. Oh, there's a bit of fluff flying everywhere, yeah. Then little one underneath, underneath again. It just helps to stop it from wrapping, wrapping because when it's fishing, sometimes it'll wrap around the up like that. And you don't want that to happen. No. Another little tip as well if you wet your finger and thumb, it just keeps it out of the way. And then you want oh, 10 strands, perhaps, of the uh, gold holographic tinsel. And there we go. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Is it me talking to myself? Man in white jacket's coming down the drive, take me away. Oh. 
I like to shroud it. Now normally we do as we did before, catch it there and rip all these fibers off. I like to leave them nice and long and go. Catch another one, John. Ooh, it's a lot of flash. Yeah. Loads in it. See the, see the way it shrouds it? Yeah. I think the original, it was all just tied in underneath. This is starting to get hard to get all to them all. The old tricks. There's a wayward one now, look. Let's see what you want. With your, with, your, with your tricks, this tag end, if you just pull all the fibers out, you end up with just the, the center store. And then catch that on. Take your thread to the front. Let your fingers bring it underneath, but over the top. And then just lock everything into place. And it, once again, it helps stop, in, uh, stop the marabou tail winding around. Yeah. Is it, sorry, Derek, is that tribal or just any straggle? No, this is... Um, uh, 15, 15 mil. Uh, olive, olive bricks. But Bob does it. You get in touch with okay. Bob Swan at Castle Feathers. This is a pretty supplies for the Alan McCoy. It's lovely stuff. It's got that lovely bit of purple in it. Yeah. And treat it like a hackle when you put it on there, isn't it? Yeah. Just keep folding it back. Fold it back. That's it. You see so many people tying with Fritz and they just wrap it up the hook. Yeah, it does <laughs> yeah. trap it. it. It just kills the material. Yeah. Just keep folding it back. And then over the top, one in front, one behind, one in front, one behind. And because the thread is the same color as a bead, sometimes you, you know when you when you're doing a whip finish, you can see if it's a different color, it shows up, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll have to get this camera sorted. It, it it's got the auto focus on. I'm sure it has, and I don't know how to remove it. Well, it's not looking bad, Derek. Where's the needle gone? Hit it with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, how important to this pattern is the weight on the head? It makes it, it, it it's, it 
it is important, Pete, because you want it to dip. As, yeah. as, you, as you're fishing it, when you stop, it'll go down like that. And then it's got that lovely... Oh, I don't know, it's just the, yeah, so it's like a lot of the others. That's what yeah. I was just asking. Yeah, because when you stop it, it'll dip like that. And as you pull it, it'll go back up. So you've got this lovely... But if I blow it, look. And do you find you get most of your takes just on the first pull after it's been dipped? Sometimes, sometimes they follow it all the way in. But yeah, I see how many, how many points. Lovely little fly. Got my eyes again. Swap the cameras. There we go. Everybody happy with that? Thanks, Derek. Fantastic. Thanks, Derek. Nice No worries. Fantastic. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Yeah, thanks.